Wait, no, wait. <laughs> We're recording in three, two, one. Welcome back to the Beauty Birds podcast where your birds, Tara and Becca, have several shots of liquor and talk about shit we like. <laughs> Um, we're, we're pretty excited today, even though we strive to be educated consumers and we do talk about the finances of treat yourself quite a bit. Even your birds need a birthday haul now and again. Hell yeah. And that sometimes turns into pressuring your co-host to also buy some things. (laughs) So today we're going to talk about new purchases Mostly makeup, some non-makeup on my end that I'm excited about. But first, Tara, recent birthday woman, though by the time this goes up, not that recent. What is on your face and what is in your face? So I'm still drinking the stupid Game of Thrones whiskey that was like a limited edition collector's piece. I think it's it's Johnny Walker. Uh, and ever since I posted that stupid, not stupid, it was a very good meme about how... Game of Thrones have erased themselves from pop culture. It made me angry again. Then I looked to my left and I found it there and I was like, this must be gone. Is it good? Is the actual whiskey good? Yeah, it's not bad. (laughs) That's good. Yeah. What are you drinking? Um, I am drinking, it's like kind of a vodka Collins, by which I mean it's vodka, lemon juice, and club soda. But I actually made like a lemon simple syrup a few weeks ago and I oh, yeah. killed that off. So that's it too. That nice. sounds real swanky, but it does. simple syrup is literally just equal parts sugar and water that you heat over a low temp until the sugar dissolves. That's it. It still sounds pretty swanky. You could probably even just like warm up water in your kettle in a tea kettle and like pour it over the sugar and dissolve it and then you wouldn't even need to do it over the stove. Still sounds swanky. Whatever, it's delicious and that's what I'm drinking. (laughs) And then on my face, uh, I'm trying to look for... Do you want to just introduce one of the the new purchases? Yeah, why don't I just kick this party off? So the most exciting thing... I know you're wearing it. (laughs) The most exciting thing that I got so far, so my birthday was on Cinco de Mayo and... Uh, most people who are of the buying gifts for me category usually just give me Sephora gift cards or something like that. Smart people. Yeah, very. (laughs) And so I did a whole Sephora thing. I ended up doing like three Sephora orders, but one of the things that I've always had, like a, I'll always go to the website and make a cart, but never actually check out is from Terra Moons Cosmetics. It's an indie brand. They do mostly single shadows. Um, I looked around like the whole website. They have a couple of face if products. If you already but... listened to our Smash or Pass episode, you may recall the name because we talked about them a bit then too. Yes. And that is actually what sparked this because I was like, you know what? It's time to stop holding back from ordering. Um, yeah. So I finally checked out on their site because they have the most beautiful single shadows. I ordered the neon line. And like, if you're listening They're and not so watching. They're so fluorescent. They are bright. Like the Urban Decay Electric Palette is the closest thing I have to something like this, which are, they're very colorful shadows. But these aren't just colorful. They're bright. And it conveys on the eyes as well, which is what I'm wearing today. I have the yellow, orange, and pink shadow, which I'll write the colors down below. I don't remember what the colors are, but trust me, you can't miss them on the website. Uh, But like, they're not just bright in the pan. They're also equally as bright on the face. They look like a highlighter on the face. They like make me want to be at ultra zone. Yeah. Playing laser tag under the black lights. I don't know what these would do under a black light because they're not advertised as like black light shadows, but I have no doubt. But they look like they should be yeah for sure but like this is the first time i think i've ever had a shadow that from the pan to the eye is as bright as the pan yay yeah and they last we love a good purchase they've been on for hours and they're still here they don't look like they've really creased at all either well i use a lot of eye primer because my eyelids are very oily well it worked yeah so, but like that said, with a lot of eye primer, other eyeshadows fade during the day for me. Or at least like lose their oomph, you know? Yeah, mine tend to just like crease and kind of go away over time. Yeah. So but yeah, hooray. this is the first thing. 
I'm thrilled uh, that that was a great purchase. I already have a second cart worth of shadows to get because they have this one shade called Snow Globe, which is the most like iridescent-y, glittery, you can't really see it on here too well, uh, but like perfectly glittery duochrome, multi-chrome shadow. And they just released an entire line of different versions of this, like different multi-chromes, but in the same formula. So a, like about six of those are in the cart and then the last of the neon shadows to round off the collection. Want. I know. I highly recommend it. I found someone's code as well to get, I think it was 10% or 15% off. So worth every penny, do it. Maybe. I got jealous that you got your eyeshadows, so I also did went pretty bright today in a two-tone look featuring obviously sugar pill fun size. I mean. <laughs> and Huda Beauty neon pink. Yeah. Mostly because it hasn't arrived yet. It's not late. I literally just ordered it because it went live on Friday. But probably my most exciting recent purchase, even though I don't have it yet, is also from our Smasher Pass episode, but I went and I bought the damn Gimme Glow Extra Spicy palette. Oh my god, that thing is the most you palette I've ever seen. It's quite expensive. I In that episode, I said that if it was more than $32, I wasn't going to buy it. And then? It was $41. <laughs> However, I did not realize that the pans were enormous. Yeah. So the Sugar Pill Fun Size palette, which is what everything will now be compared to, these pans are 22 millimeters, which like, it's fine. I have no complaints. The Huda Neon and like Obsessions palettes are also kind of a similar size with square pans. The Give Me Glow pans are 37 millimeters. Which also, just for reference, the normal like Z palette pans are 26 millimeters. Yeah, so it's huge. It's yeah. actually bigger than, okay, by one millimeter. But the Give Me Glow pans in the extra spicy palette and I think also their singles their singles are definitely the same size are one millimeter larger than sugar pill singles that's amazing Which, like, that's really big that is very big and they're seven dollars each for the singles right uh yeah something like that which is a really really good deal but that's one of those things that like I'm probably never gonna pan like the neon orange in here so like I yeah I I think is it Terra Moons that lets you choose if you want the smaller or the bigger pan? No, I know who you're talking about, but I can't think of the brand. Oh, well then it's Give Me Glow, because one of them lets you choose oh. a bigger or smaller size pan. Okay, then I think that's anyway. like a frequent indie thing. But that's, um, that's the thing. I bought it, it thing. was more expensive than I thought, but it's also like twice as much product as I Plus thought. Plus supporting an indie brand. Supporting an indie brand, it's cruelty free. I'm pretty sure it's owned by a woman. I don't need to justify it. No. The, the numbers made sense and I'm super excited. It is gorgeous. I even considered getting it, uh, but that's totally not my color palette. Um, okay. What else yeah. we got? What order? So, do you have an order to go in? Uh, no, but I'm going to go in a very chaotic order like I usually do. Okay. The next thing I got was from Sephora. So I did a Sephora order um, from Devin. He was just like, go crazy. But I didn't go crazy crazy. What I did do was one of the, one of the Sephora uh, favorites kits. I end up locking out like once every year or like every two years, one of their Sephora favorite kits is like perfectly what I want. <laughs> and this year I'm looking for everything that came in it was uh, I'll, I'll link in all of our posts, like what the actual kit was, but it had so many things that I actually wanted. Like the Patrick Ta, um, like body oil that was the glowy thing it is absolutely gorgeous wow. it came with a super group unseen sunscreen the brazilian bum bum cream uh the milk makeup blush like the cream one wow i've heard you talk about every single one of those products the how do you pronounce this we way way oh uh, AI, the hair care brand yeah the wave spray which is another thing uh, and then my mom thing. really likes that really yeah Good to know. Does she have curly hair, wavy hair? Wavy. Okay. 
uh, full size tart mascara, which like I don't, I've never tried it, but I'm not a mascara purist. That is one of my like old school favorites. Yeah, so I'm really excited to have a full size mascara. And then the only thing that I didn't love from this, oh, you know what? There are three other things. Uh, there are two things that I didn't love, and then the other ones in my purse already because it's like a, it's the, I forgot the brand. You know those lip balms? Fresh. Sephora? Fresh, yeah. Sephora fresh lip balm which is like always a home run wait Um, fresh is the like expensive brand yeah it came with one of their like tinted lip balm formulas which is very nice but like the full size is something like 26 dollars and it's just not happening i've never bought a full size but i've had about three or four of the mini ones Mm -hmm. uh the only two things that i didn't love in it and i'm gonna send you one of it because i know this is much more up your alley was the jouet uh skinny dip highlighter yeah, I haven't tried their highlights, but I used to love their liquid lipsticks. Yeah, and you sent me actually the topper, the lip toppers. Yeah, I think I had yeah. two of those. Those were nice too. And then the other thing was the Sephora brand um, Matte Stories lipstick, which like the formula is very nice, but the color isn't exactly me. Is it the color of that packaging? Yes. It's like a good mom, mom color. Would your mom wear it? No. Really? She's a Clinique loyalist. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah this you can send was it like to me. $40 total. And it had so many things in it that I've wanted to try that the two things that I don't love kind of were outweighed by how much there was. Oh like yeah. A That's run it. for sure a winner. Plus it came with a makeup bag and I am one of those people that uses every single makeup bag that I ever get because I don't care what my makeup bags look like and I travel a lot. What uh, What's the bag look like? Uh, it's not here. Okay. <laughs> but it's like this blue silicone-y one. It's, it's pretty neat. Um, and then, so I also wanted to touch on what I got with that because I always do my Sephora samples. And when you do like the Sephora um, spend $25, get whatever thing, I always try to get a mascara because I'm one of those people that lives off of travel size mascaras. Wait, what about spending $25? You know when you check out on Sephora how they have like the promo codes? Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I always try to get whatever like promo mascara is there. So I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills new release mascara. But look how tiny this is. Did you try it yet? No, I don't want to open it until I need to. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Keep me updated on that one. I will. Uh, So yeah, I got that. And then my birthday gift, which was the... Brazilian bum bum cream and the other one, the Coco Cabana. I'm curious to see what you think of those. I am too. These have been on my wish list for a while. So now I have two of the bum bum ones. Um, So yeah, I'll keep you posted on all of those, but I'm very excited. That was just my first Sephora order. I had two more, so you go next. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go buy Sephora order. Okay. I might go by brand, actually. Sure. So I went a little crazy. Okay. I didn't go crazy. I didn't. I didn't order them all at once. But yeah. um, Fenty caught my attention. Ooh. Like a lot. What they do? Like you should look at the screen. Oh yeah, that's right. (laughs) Um, I am stoked for those for you. So I bought the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade O2 Butter Biscuit. Like butter, but butter. B-U-T-T-A. Not like B-U-T space A. Um, it's perfect and beautiful and I love it so much. And I have been on the hunt for a cream bronzer yeah. for so long. <laughs> Not to sound dramatic, but like literally years I have been looking for a cream bronzer. Yeah. It's fantastic and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I've used it every single day since it arrived. Oh my God. I, I've been looking forward to like seeing you try these because they look incredible. Um, In that same order, I also tried one of the cream blushes. It's the same thing. It's the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in Daiquiri Dip because it's bright red like obviously this caught my attention yeah um nick is not a huge fan of it on me i'm a little pink and flushed anyway i do feel like i have to put concealer on my cheeks and like tone down my natural redness a little bit but when i do put it on it looks like 
I've been out in the sun. Oh, but that's like a fun look. Like maybe it's a little red. I don't know if I'd wear it to work. Yeah. But I also think I'm going to keep it. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't sure and I was debating. So then I got another color. (laughs) Ah! I ordered the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in Drama Class, which is purple. Ooh. I'm wearing it today. Ooh. It actually applies way more sheer. Okay. I love because it's bright purple and it's kind of intimidating looking, but um, it's actually really lovely. Like, I'm really impressed with yeah. the Fenty Cream Blush Bronzer formula situation right now. I have yeah. zero complaints. I do respect that most of the shades are there to cater to darker skin tones. Like, cool, that's fine. People need products that work for them. It shouldn't always be like, what can Whitey wear? (laughs) But I do hope that they get really popular and they expand the blush line to have more shades. Um, sure. I agree with you. I have found that darker blush shades can absolutely work for lighter skin tones if you just like blend them out more. I guess it's more, well, I guess my comment about mostly appealing to darker skin tones is incorrect because there's actually two other shades that I really liked and they both had shimmer in them. So the issue isn't that they're too dark for me. It's that I don't want a glittery blush. So I was wrong there. Um, Mm. Separately, I ordered from Ulta, but kind of in combination with this is in general, I've been using a lot more cream and liquid products. I live in Texas now. It's freaking hot. It was like 93 today. It was cloudy and 93 today in mid-May. Um, I don't really have the tools to cater to mostly cream and liquid products. So for the first time in like Ooh. a couple of years, probably, I bought some new tools. I got new brushes. I support that all the I, way. I got the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is kind of dense and like oval mm-hmm. shaped. I'm into it. And then I also got the Real Techniques, what is this actually called? I don't know what it's called. It was in really dumb packaging. <laughs> uh, like just really excessive. Hold on, I can reach it actually. Um, while you're looking. Oh, wait, I have it. Did you order the Smith Cosmetics brushes? I didn't. Um. I have three from Smith Cosmetics. They're fantastic. I think if you're like stocking up on tools, it's a great way to go. It was a little out of my budget right now. That's fair. Um, so this crazy looking thing is the Real Techniques Cashmere Dreams 014 Complexion Brush. This is the size of the brush. It's like, what would you say, maybe six inches? Sure. This is the package it came in. Unbelievable. It's like almost one and a half times the size. Yeah. Ridiculous. Um, I really like Real Techniques. They're, um, what's the word I was looking for? They're not real hair. They're synthetic. Synthetic. (laughs) That's the word I was looking for. Sorry, there's a bug flying around. Um, I think they're very affordable. They're synthetic. They're in high quality. Um, but I did spend a whole $16 Ooh. and I got the Zoeva 122 Petite Stippling Brush. Um, I actually used to have an e.l.f. stippling brush that I quite liked, but some of the, they're, they tend to be like duo fiber where yeah. there's like some of the hairs are a thinner, longer texture, but the white part of the elf one was like much longer. I, re- I know what brush you're talking about. I had it. So I feel like that one's really good for powder, but not maybe not great for creams. So yeah. um, I got three brushes to help with all my new cream and liquid products. And actually in a separate order, but can I mention one more thing? Also from Smasher Pass, I, I bought it. Oh, the Kaya Kaja, the brand that we never know how to pronounce, K A J A. Really love their stuff. I have three of their like cushion blushes. 
Um, they came out with cushion highlights. Yes, and bronzers. Um, I actually use one of the darker shades of their blushes as like contour. Yeah. But they came out with cushion highlight. It's really cute. All of their blushes have like a heart shaped applicator and the highlighter one is a, a moon shape. Oh, I love it. And you can't really see on camera. Oh, there you um, go. It's a very natural color. Okay. It's glowy stamp in 01 gleamy. Nice. Um, as you can probably tell if you're watching, this is not what I'm wearing on camera. It's actually underneath. Okay. It's super natural. I think this is great for like every day, going to work, out in the sunshine, whatever. Not quite intense enough for like what I want in the evening for recording to go out. But right. like everyday use this is a winner. Nice. I didn't even know you got that one. Snuck it in. Fun. What's next for you? Um, I'll talk about my second Sephora order because this is the one where I went like a little off the rails, if you mm. will. Um, so the second order, I finally got the Sol de Janeiro um, glow oil, but this one was in... Master Flash, I think it's called. It's, it was their limited edition color where it has like a white gold base, but like bluish purple reflex. In yes, it. that's the one I wanted you to get. Oh, I, I love it. And I'm really glad I got it. But it kind of makes me want to buy the gold one because this one is so great that like I want to try the other colors now. Well, you're about to live in Florida where it will be warm all the time. And I then know. in like a month or two, you can justify totally getting another one. Yeah. So this was incredible. Um, the smell, I so people always talk about how good the smell of the Sol de Janeiro products are. I don't love the smell of it, but I don't hate it enough to not buy more. Did you try the, did you open the Bum Bum Cream yet? I don't want to open it yet. Okay, because I, I want to know if they have the same smell if you don't like it, because I feel like that's part of the reason why everybody loves it so much. Yeah, so remember the last episode we were just talking about if you are listening to us. It did not come out yet, but we were just talking about skincare routines and sunscreen. So sunscreen for me is like the ultimate beachy smell. So I think a lot of people feel that way. I yeah. just don't like the smell. Sunscreen, coconut, um, pineapple, like those are beachy tropical smells for me. The Brazilian bum bum cream has vanilla notes in it, I believe. And vanilla doesn't smell so much as beach and like low key beach to me. It smells more like, I don't know how to describe it other than like trying to be beach. It's like a all inclusive resort smell. You know what? Fuck, I'm gonna open it. It smells good. But it smells like a expensive all inclusive resort, not like yes. the Jersey Shore. It doesn't smell like. I've never trip. been able to like pinpoint that smell before, but now we get it. <laughs> so yeah, it was, the smells aren't what hooked me in. It's like the product itself. And then with this, because I did not stop there. Um, I also <laughs> finally bought the Hourglass Scattered Light Shadow. I forgot that you bought it. Did you it's try so it It's so beautiful. It's the olive shade, uh, Vivid. It's gorgeous. The formula is phenomenal. It's like a pressed, I want to say it's like a, pressed all the way down like compact like not loose at all glitter kind of shade but not glitter glitter it's like not cream it's tomorrow freaking... i want a look from you Beautiful. with the elf olive quad and oh. that ah oh, this is gorgeous and it has one of those fancy like stoppers in it that you put like the plastic stopper so that nothing happens to the precious shadow while it's in the thing how like, lovely sure. uh did not stop there becca because with that, I also bought the Milk Makeup uh, Glow Oil, which is like lip and cheek. And? And? Do you love it? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the shade that I got from the other Sephora order from the Just Cheek, like cream cheek shadow thing. Mm -hmm. Um in work spelt w-e-r-k in the cringiest way possible a little bit better than the glow oil that i got in glimmer um but i think once i have more of like a tan to me this will look 
just as fine as this one. This is more of like a red base than I thought it would because online it looked more mauve but this is like a perfect mauve. Got it. Yeah. So you're thrilled with them is what you're saying and you're not going to return it. No, I'm not going to return it. I'm excited for it. <laughs> All right. I will touch back on another purchase after. Do you want to go with your next one? Um, so I have two directions to go in. Okay. And do the rest of Sephora or Lime Crime. Lime Crime. Okay. It started because I really like their brow gel mm -hmm. and it was half off. So I okay. ordered two of the Bushy Brow Gel in the shade Smoky. Yeah. Um, I think Is that it's the black. Yeah, it's the darker one. So I have okay. one that's almost done. But for those that are watching, this, or rather for those that aren't watching, the brush is so teeny tiny. Yeah. And it's just really fantastic to get in your brows and tint them and keep them in place. It um, is. But while I was there, I couldn't just buy that. Um, so I'm friends with this girl, Tara. We maybe kind of host a podcast together and it was her birthday and she was like, buy the shit. Um, so I bought the freaking freckle pen. Okay, time out, because what I said was, hey, I'm buying a bunch of shit. And you were like, should I buy some shit? Should we do an episode on this? And I said, don't feel pressure to buy I'm anything. pretty sure you were the one that said we should do an episode. Said, okay, I bought some stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were the one that said we should do a recent purchases episode. And I was like, I oh, yeah, guess I should get some usually, recent purchases. You usually have some recent purchases under your belt. I had you? been participating in a mostly don't buy anything for a month. So yeah, went, let, the, let the record show that I did say, don't feel like you need to buy anything, but, and then you said, okay, I'm checking out now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But for this specific item, you did tell yeah. me I should buy it. It's okay, the Lime Crime Freckle say, Pen. Do it up. It's kind of like a fat felt tip eyeliner. Have you used it yet? I'm wearing it today. Oh. Um, it's actually pretty cute. It's, I got the darker shade, Coco. Yeah. But it's kind of like a, if somebody took a dark brown liquid eyeliner and like lowered the opacity to 50%. Okay. Um, so it's kind of like semi sheer. I don't know. I mean, you can't tell. Can you? Um, not in the, actually a little bit in the lighting, but I feel like the lighting you have kind of like, you would need a pure black one for it to show up. Um, Nick noticed it. He okay. said it was cute. Well, that is he cute. Liked it. Okay. So I'm here for it. Um, if I was in the sun and didn't wear sunscreen and didn't wear hats, I would have freckles on my face. As an adult, I've learned to appreciate those freckles about the same, around the same time that I started to appreciate those freckles. I also started caring about my skin and now I don't really get them anymore. So I got yeah. the pen to fake it. How long have you been wearing it? Is the staying power good? Um, I only did my makeup like right before we started recording. Oh. <laughs> Um, because, oh, actually, I guess I should mention it. I did my makeup late today because one of my other purchases that I don't really know if it's working out. I bought the Arctic Fox semi-permanent hair dye in blue jean baby. And while dinner was in the oven, I dyed my hair today. Um, it's so, okay. It's like maybe a little bit darker, but I did talk to a friend who coincidentally was also touching up her blue hair dye and posted on Instagram at the same time that like I was sitting with it in my head. And she said that next time, when I go to touch it up, to leave it in for way longer. So I'm gonna try that next time. time. Um, also, because we both have brown hair, uh, I found that when I do my like brownish, like I color my hair a lot. So it's usually a light brown, even though my natural hair is a dark brown. But when I color my lightish brown hair, you don't really see it unless you're in a certain light and then you're like, Which, oh, is that like, that's kind of exactly what I wanted. Yeah. But it's, I mean, like you can see it. In I'm kind self. of there. Yeah. I'm kind of there. We're like in certain indirect light. You, you can, can kind of see it. Like, but left. so the instructions on the bottle said to leave it in for 30 minutes. I left it in for about 40, but um, my friend Steph was like, no, no, leave it in for like two hours. Well, the, speaking of Lime Crime, the Lime Crime unicorn hair, um, I had used it one time and I left it in for like a half an hour or 45 minutes just like you did and like literally nothing happened. And I was looking through the instructions and it says for like the oomph effect, leave it in for two hours. 
Yeah, uh, the um, Arctic Fox one said for best results to like put your hair in a shower cap and then like yes. blow dry it. And I was like, I don't, I cut all my hair off. I don't own a shower cap. Oh, I've got some disposable shower caps. Okay, I have one last thing from yes. Lime Crime. I did it. They came out with a new lipstick. It is the Lip Pops Satin Lipstick. I think it's really cute. It's kind of like the same pencil style that we talked about from Laura Mercier, which is what I'm wearing today. But it has this little thing on the bottom that you push and it like pops up. It is super cute. And then you twist it and it goes back down. Unfortunately, mine got smashed. Oh. The um, thing on the bottom must have just gotten triggered in the packaging and it got smushed against the top of the lid. And I contacted them and they were like, oh, sorry, we'll replace that. And like, are sending me a new one. Um, I will say application was a little bit difficult because that curved edge of lipstick that helps you get that straight line is not here right now. It's just flattened. Mm -hmm. However, it is such a comfortable and just lovely weightless formula. And I wish they had more shades because I imagine come full weight of Texas summer, this is the kind of thing I'm going to want to wear. Yeah. We were both talking about it. Like, we just wish they had more shades. Yeah, I went through again, and I guess they do have quite a few kind of, like, nudie, work-appropriate options, but they also have, like, this weird creamsicle orange, and I'm just like, who who does that look good on? Yeah, none of the shades for that were really calling me, because I do think that the formula looks really good, and like you said, it's, like, really comfortable. Oh, I got it in the shade um, Sangria. Yes. I got it in the shade Sangria. That was my Lime Crime order. I'm so impressed. Like, their customer service was so good. She was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, didn't ask me for a picture. Just was like, we'll replace it. And was like, I hope you're staying safe. And I was like, so I think Lime Crime customer service is, like, hypersensitive to all of the past controversy controversies. That's fine. It's That's not fine. hard. Fine. Like, you replaced, what, what was it, $18 lipstick? But, like... Yeah. I will continue to shop from Lime Crime for so long now. I hate to say. Hydro Jug, I believe, was the brand. Oh, yeah. They make those big half-gallon plastic water bottles, which are expensive. I bought one. They came out with new lids, and I ordered them, and they sent me the old lids. And when I was like, WTF, give me the new lid, which were $5, by the way, they were awful. Yeah. They wanted me to pay for return shipping to return the lids after demanding photos that I show them. And we're like, oh, well, the, the new lids are not like available in the way that you ordered. Like, just send me the $5 lid and I would have continued to talk about you and continued to post about you on social media where I have like 12, 1300 followers for free, like endlessly. Like I would have yeah. continued. It just left such a bad taste in my mouth. I almost never reach for them. I agree with you. Like, it doesn't cost that much to just have good customer service. I just go for my, I have a, a 32 ounce hydro flask from Two Town Cider House, which is a cider company in Portland. And I will, ra- I would rather get up and refill that twice. Yeah. Cause I'm so mad about the hydro jug now. Well, we were talking about earlier. It doesn't, I personally feel that customer service should be and like this isn't like the I want to talk to a manager meme like I'm not being a Karen but like if you have like a legitimate concern or whatever I hate when customer services are just like total total dicks um the Terra Moons cosmetics forgot to send one of my shadows and I emailed them and they're the nicest people ever and they're just like oh my god we are so sorry which shade was it we're on it um I'm gonna dive into my next order which was my third Sephora order (laughs) I also did three. You know, they have a free shipping deal right now because I'm not Rouge or VI. I'm VIB, but not Rouge, mm-hmm. right? So I don't have like free, free shipping, but they have a code right now to get free shipping. I did two of the K- KVD Vegan Beauty uh, Glimmer Veils, which is something I've always wanted to try. And they're an amazing formula. I love those. 
an amazing formula, very lightweight, and the color is beautiful because it's shimmery right off the bat. It's not like the flip ones from those other brands. It's like activate the shimmer. It's gorgeous and the colors are pretty, but getting it off of your lips is kind of difficult. Yeah. You said you had to go for the olive oil. Yeah. Which is a kind of, it, it's a bummer. I don't like when that happens. Cause like part of my whole shtick is just like doing easy things. Which is funny. Cause we just recorded previously our skincare basics, which will be up <laughs> several weeks after yeah. this airs. <laughs> um, but we talked about, I really like cleansing oils and cleansing bombs, and they're really great at breaking down makeup. And yeah. one of the downsides of going for like a cleansing gel or not an oil-based cleanser is unfortunately not always the greatest in breaking down makeup. Yeah. So yeah, I was a little disappointed, but I'm still going to use, use them. Uh, hold. Sorry, Marsh just let out a noise. He's good. He's sleeping. All right. He's sleeping. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm still going to use them, but I'm going to use them a lot more cautiously and like think about when I use them and where I'm going and if it's worth the hassle later that night. But they were five dollars each, so like I have zero regrets and I will not return them. I got uh, Televator and Wizard, which was the like blue base, purple, and then the black. Nice. Oh wait, black glitter. I oh my god, Becca. <sighs> I also indulged in the $5 KVD Vegan Beauty options. Yes. I purchased Wolf with two O's and what's this one? Dagger. Mm -hmm. The two like gray toned liquid lipsticks. I actually used to have a mini set that had like a tiny size of both of yeah. these that was sold together. And I'm pretty sure that was $10. It was. I almost bought it in TJ And then Nazi. I threw it in the trash when I found out that Kat Von D is a Nazi. When but now she's not garbage. making any money from this. And so I bought the full size. Mm -hmm. This is actually part of my first Sephora order. I'll just drop it. Um, in which I bought one more thing. Can I share with you? Yes. I bought a stick concealer. Oh, yeah. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro concealer in the shade fair light neutral 03 it is it kind of looks like a lipstick really it's like a slanted thing stick concealer i have a confession you love it not only do i love it i genuinely think this might be one of the best concealers i've ever used you it's know so comfortable it feels like nothing and we had talked about this before like that memory of junior high of like a yeah. stick foundation or stick concealer and like for me, not knowing that was something you had to blend in and literally yeah. just drawing it all over my face. Um, this is so lightweight and so comfortable. The color is such a perfect match. Like I'm just, I'm genuinely so impressed. I actually had bought another concealer to try. I bought, oh, you can't see it in the camera. I bought the Milk, oh, the milk Makeup, um, was it the Flex Concealer? Yep. I tried it once, it's getting returned. Oh, really? First of all, I bought the shade Buff, which is like number four of yeah. six or seven of the light range. It's like three shades too light for me. Oh, wow. Hmm. Um, to be fair, I bought it because Julia Adams said she really loves it. She's a YouTuber I really like, but I think she has a much more oily skin tone than I do. And I put this on and my skin was like, oh my God, this is so dry. Get it off my face. <laughs> um, off. So you might love it. But uh, yeah, Bare Minerals Stick Concealer, also part of me buying new brushes since apparently I just use creams and liquids exclusively now. Um, so impressed. Yeah. So pleased and impressed and just like, wow, great job. Great job. All right. Um, I'm going to go to my... Elf order. Yes. Bless my you. allergies are so bad. I had some mega sneezing earlier today. I was like, oh god, I have the Rona. I don't. Um, this don't one was all you. You tagged me in the Elf Cosmetics Hot Jalapeno uh, eyeshadow palette that just came out. It's a mini one. It has four shades. Wait, wait. And so we're going to have hot jalapeno and extra spicy palettes together? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's okay. Um, 
<laughs> this is a quad, I guess, and it's an all olive quad. So it has like a dark olive, a medium olive, a shimmer olive, and like a olive based gold color shimmer. Um, and after years of lamenting over olive palettes, I finally bought this one. And honestly, this is all I need because after getting it, I was like, you know what? This is the only look I would have done with an olive palette anyway. And I'm much more excited about the Terra Moon eyeshadows than I am the olive one. So at the end of the day, if I had spent $52 on a custom olive palette, I would have been pissed. I'm so glad that you bought it. It was what, $350? After using a discount code, it came to, I think, like $370-ish. Oh, with tax, right? Yeah. And then with this, because once I got onto the e.l.f. site, so like, I actually love the brand e.l.f. Um, I've had, a, I use predominantly e.l.f. brushes and... I used to have a lot. I don't have so, so many now, but... Yeah. They're just, it's a really affordable brand that makes very quality, very quality, high quality products. I'm looking at my brushes and I just have such a weird variety of companies. I, honestly, I do too. Um, so yeah, I got this. And then once I got down that rabbit hole, I also bought the Jelly Pop uh, face and eye gloss because mm -hmm. I have the shade Icicle, I think it is. And this is Creamsicle. This is Creamsicle Pop. So I think the other one's Icicle. Either way, I loved the Icicle one and really couldn't wait to get another one. So I finally invested in the second one. Uh, a new liquid eyeliner because my old favorite was the one from the brand NYC. And honestly, I haven't used many since. And I was looking for something affordable and this is very good. It is just their liquid eyeliner. A glitter, like a liquid glitter eyeshadow. Is this the one that destroyed your makeup look by accident a few weeks yeah. ago? Yeah. So I, you can't use it on top of powder shadows, but you can definitely use it for like a one eyeshadow look kind of thing. Big fan. Now that I know how to use it, I'll be more cautious. Um, that was like $3. Do you think it would work over powder shadows, shadows if you like put some on the back of your hand and then like applied it with a brush? Probably. Just throwing the idea out there. All right. I'll try that next. And then the last thing that I got is probably my favorite thing. Uh, the multi-sticks. They're meant to be like a dupe of the bite multi-sticks. I have one. Like, yeah. What shade? Kava, obviously. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I've tried this one in particular in two other shades. One shade I think I mailed to you because I didn't like it and I thought if I hate it, you probably love it. Um, the other one I have but I don't use frequently, but this one I got in Radiant Bronze and it is a perfect cream bronzer for Wait, me. you mailed it to me? I think so, in like one of the big packages a while ago. I don't know if I, I feel like I would have remembered. Oh, maybe I gave it to Tori. Tori, let us know. <laughs> also, I certainly didn't keep it. I think this will go up in time, but didn't she just graduate? Yeah, she's a doctor now. Congratulations, Tori. <laughs> so yeah, Dr. Buck, let us know if I gave you a blush. Um, so yeah, I got this in Radiant Bronze, and just like you found your Fenty Cream Bronzer, this is a perfect bronze shade for me. Love and it. Uh, it was like $3. So that was my elf haul, which came to like a whopping $17, which was the least unhinged thing that I did. And then I'm going to just do my last purchase haul. I'm also then, down to my last makeup thing. Okay. I was going to say, I'm going to do my last one. Then I'll just let you take the rails on the rest of it. Yeah. Cause I have some non makeup things that I'm very excited about. Yeah. So this is another Devin birthday thing. Um, where I kind of just want to do like a restock where I got another sunscreen, which like wasn't the most like fun purchase ever, but I'm, I was stoked to get it. You're going to need it. Yeah. It was just a Neutrogena Hydro Boost sunscreen, which is a favorite of mine. I've and actually never tried that one. I'm going to look it up. Okay. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It's like a neutral one. Uh, and then the bedhead, I forgot what it was called. It was like the curly something. Uh, hair curler because now that I have shorter hair I have a thick curling iron that doesn't fit my hair anymore and this one's specifically made for curly hair because the problem that I have is my curls aren't uniform so like on days that I do like this is a terrible example because I straightened my hair this morning but usually my curls are between wavy and curly and they don't all play by like the same rule 
and I'll have like a whole side of perfect curls and then like two or three that are just ridiculous looking and this was made to um, work with your out of line curls that like just aren't doing what the rest of them are doing. Sorry, I'm going crazy and I'm going to powder my in the yeah, this is like curly hair specific curling iron. It came with the gloves so I don't just like burn my hand. Uh, but I was super stoked to try that and I am very happy to bring that to Florida with me because once my hair hits the humidity, I'm never going to straighten it again and I'm going to need something to like make my curls look okay. I'm pretty sure if it doesn't have the clasp, it's called a curling wand. Okay. Yeah, so then my other one is a curling iron, but then this one is a curling wand. I can look up what it's called while you take the rails on what else you Am I less shiny now? You are less shiny now. I was going crazy there. Uh, also, huge bummer because Ulta, their birthday gift, you have to redeem it in store and all the stores were closed, so. That's, That's rude. Bad. I know. I was going to email them, but like the energy it would take to email them to get whatever birthday gift, it just wasn't worth it. Uh, it is called the Curly Pop Half Inch Skinny Pop Curling Iron. It I don't know. First of all, I have almost no hair because I've shaved most of it off. And second of all, when I do have longer hair, it does nothing. It's just like straight. The yeah. only way for me to get any wave in that hair that will stay is if I fall asleep with it wet. Wow. Like even salon, they'll like curl and spray and midday it'll be gone. Wow. This is the last of my Sephora purchase. Yes. Um, I got the Inkyless Lactic Acid, which is actually a refill. I quite like it. Very mm -hmm. affordable. Really great. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with lactic acid. I usually go for a glycolic. But yeah. I really like this and actually perhaps overshare. I've been, I've shared several times that I've been using the ordinary glycolic acid toner as my deodorant. Yes. And even still some single follicle had the fucking audacity the nerve to become ingrown <laughs> and i feel like it took a combo of the lactic and the glycolic acid to show it who was boss okay um i also ordered the inky list pha toner Ooh. which i've never tried before um highly rated on beautypedia it is Oh, it doesn't actually say the full description of what it's called. The, like the, what PHA stands for. Anyway, it's supposed to be like a very good gentle toner. Yeah. And I was kind of curious about it both for my face and as a deodorant option, because so far the ordinary glycolic acid is like the only one I've tried. And yeah. I'm just curious. And finally, I tried the ordinary squalane cleanser which we talked about in Skincare Basics, which is actually not going to be up for a few weeks, but we recorded it before we recorded this one. Um, Nick has been using this. I got my male partner, who is an adult human man. <laughs> a full-grown adult. a face wash. <laughs> he really likes it. I used it for two days, and like my whole nose was black clogged pores. Are you just going to give it to him or return it? Um, I actually asked him what he wanted me to do because he's got a mini in the shower now and yeah. I just ordered him the full size and then I was like, cool, I'll just give myself the mini to try and he was like, just yeah. keep it, I'll use it. So he has like three of them now, which is fine because he also has a mini of the DHC cleansing oil that I had bought him when I first got him the squalane cleanser because I wanted him to try both, but he liked this one so much that I'm just going to take that one for myself. And Deal. Um, that's the last of my makeup, minus these two minis. Yeah. I have a mini of the Super Goop Matte Screen, which is SPF 40, which I'm super excited about. You mentioned the glow screen or, and the unseen sunscreen. The unseen one, yeah. But I didn't know that when those came out, they also did a matte screen. I actually didn't know how many different sunscreens Super Goop had for some that, reason. That's I like only... their main, like, sunscreen is, is the brand. I know. I think I'm going to try a couple more of their products, like their serum, and I kind of want to try their BB cream, too. 
I used to really like the was it the city serum yeah 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 that's one that was like one of the first sunscreens that I like actually purchased and used up a whole bottle and it, it was like old school like before they changed the packaging into the cute thing it is now um, and I also have a mini of the Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30 from First Aid Beauty that they just came out with. Cool. I'm curious yeah, about I, it because the weightless part is what I usually like about chemical sunscreen. So these were two free minis I got from different orders from Sephora. But um, Sephora minis them. are one of my favorite things that Sephora does, like off topic about new releases. Um, because I get to try so many products that I otherwise would have never purchased. And like as much shit as people give Sephora for like their tiny little samples and things like that, I got the Drunk Elephant um, serum and oil like mini set. Mm -hmm. And like I often find myself using the minis as like travel products or like just things to try. And I get really stoked when they have good ones. So like I will actually- Yeah, no, I for sure- get hype and appreciate whether it's um like a promo code or yeah. even in like points re- redemption like points rewards i i love a good mini as you mentioned earlier i love when there's a mascara option i actually have the I- ilia i oh yeah yeah i l i a mascara what's the mascara called limitless lash mascara but i haven't tried it yet Okay. Um, but that was a free mini. Yeah, I think Sephora does really good with minis uh, because, like, even when you compare them to their, their competition at Ulta, Ulta sucks at, like, minis and samples. Yeah, they do a good job with their, like, points in terms of, like, you can turn it into money off. Gosh, yeah. But did you know that they don't do samples in store anymore? Really? No, you cannot get a free sample inside Ulta. That's why I haven't gotten an email for them. I used to get so many promotional emails where it was like, um, like a coupon with free with purchase, like mini. No, no. I mean like, if you're like, Oh, can I get a sample of oh. this? They don't I also do haven't it. gotten a coupon for free with purchase minis in a while. <laughs> I don't know that they do that either. Oh my God. I used to get one like once a week where it was like in store online purchase. No, um, like spend a dollar. It was like buy anything, no minimum purchase kind of thing. And you get a freebie. And I've gotten so many cute little things, but I haven't gotten one of those emails, honestly, in like a year or so. I don't know that I ever remember getting those. <sighs> anyway, that was the last of the my makeup purchases. Do you have any other makeup purchases? No, that was really it. Other than the fact that I'm going to order a second round of Terra Moons Cosmetics singles. Um, I'm waiting because we're moving. So like, I can't have them shipped here anyway, so there's really no rush. Other than the fact that it's a pre-order and something in me, like my shopping demon is like, order it. Order it <laughs> so, and just ship it to... Florida? Yeah. So I'm thinking of doing. I'm going to wait a couple of days. Um, but yeah, that's really well, it for my... you should wait until I get my Give Me Glow order because then I can report back and we'll both know what the formulas are like. Okay. And then we can decide. Because there's some stuff I want from Terra Moons and there's some stuff I want from Give Me Glow, but I want to know what the Give Me Glow formula is like first. I can already confirm for you that Terra Moons is unbelievable. Yes, so. definitely probably going to get some in the near to immediate future. Can I talk about non-makeup things? Take it away. Books or bag first? Bag. Okay. Um, I, I love handbags. There's like, if there's a handbags anonymous. No, that's not true because... It's not like I'm spending thousands and thousands of dollars on handbags. Most of my handbags are Rebecca Minkoff. Actually, I think I did the, not the math. I counted. I think this is like my seventh or eighth Rebecca Minkoff bag that I've ever owned. I've since given one, gifted one to my sister. Um, But there's a bag I've had my eye on for a while. Okay. I wanted it in black. And then I was saw this design and I was like, you know what? I live in Texas. I don't know if like a black bag is really what I'm going to get the most use out of. But like to, to note of all the handbags I own, I don't own like a plain back black bag. Like it's just, I have a really great bright orange one and like a neon green 
I have a lot of like gray taupe olive options. Yeah. No black. Anyway, I've had my eye on this bag. And then the morning of Mother's Day, I see this design and it was like 40% off or something insane. And then my grandma does this thing. We have this like arrangement where she sends me money and I will call her and be like, oh, I didn't see that you sent me a gift. I was just calling to check on you. And then it's like a really lovely thing where she sometimes sends me a gift. And Nick was like, okay, for Mother's Day, because Franklin counts as your baby, I will pay for the other half of the bag from like whatever your grandma's gift didn't cover. So I bought this. And she is beautiful. She's beautiful. It's the Rebecca Minkoff Love 2, like T-O-O, crossbody. It's, um, I think it's calf leather and just like embossed. So the body of the bag is stamped with like a snakeskin leather. And then the flap has lizard skin or croc, I guess. Yeah. Um, The sides of the bag are orange suede. And one of the favorite things, one, the reason I really wanted this bag is that in Chanel style, but a Jewish woman instead of a Nazi, um, it has the chain, but the way it's looped is you can actually double it and I love that. make that shorter. Sorry yeah. if that sound on the mic is really awful, but um, <laughs> I'm so pleased with it. And it's- it has a pocket in the back. And then if you open it on the inside, It has the big pocket and then like a little pocket in the front and a little pocket in the back. Super nice. I actually love the chain thing that it has. I didn't know that it had that. That double option. Yeah. Um, I think in terms of like mid-range styled in the style of a lot of really luxury brands, I think Rebecca Minkoff does the best. Yeah. Of like it's not a knockoff, but they were like, ah, that bag that's $5,000 is really great. And they take the best bits of those bags. Yeah. And I think at full price, this was $3.98 and I got it for $2.08. Nice. Which like, I'm not going to pretend like $200 is not a lot of money, but like. No, but in designer. The bags bag. are like $2,000. Yeah. So for 10% of the cost, I think I did pretty okay. I would say so. Anyway. That wasn't really a recent, I mean, I guess it's a purchase because I bought it, but it was a gift. Yeah. Well, I mean, like half the things that I'm showing you were birthday gifts, so. That's true. Okay. The last thing I have is books. I have three to talk about. Take this away. I feel like the first one I should mention is The Unraveling of Cassidy Holmes by Elisa Sloan. Um, This is very exciting because it's my friend. (laughs) Elisa is like a close friend of mine. Um, this doesn't actually count as a purchase, I don't think, because technically it's a, it's an arc, it's an advanced reader copy or a galley. It's like an unfinalized proof of the book, but it comes out, I think September 1st and you can pre-order it now wherever books are sold. Um, but I'm super pumped. It's about, without giving too much away, um, a pop group from the early 2000s and one of them dies and then things happen. <laughs> but if you are a fan of the Spice Girls or any music ever yeah, and know how to read and or how audiobooks work, I highly recommend. Absolutely. Um, per her recommendation, Elisa, I also bought this book, which I haven't read yet. Um, this is that was Elisa's first book, which is called a debut, and apparently, I mean not apparently. I guess I just never really gave it much thought before. But every year, there's lots of authors who are having their first book come out, and there's like an entire Instagram account that is only about authors' first books. That's cool. Um, and so she became friends with the another author named Maggie. Takuda Hall and her book, The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea just came out. Um, And I just bought it. I haven't read it yet. But it's fantasy and it's written by a woman. Like, it's what I want to (laughs) read. And the last 
And currently to me, most exciting book is um, A Curious Beginning, which is the first book in the Veronica Speedwell series by Deanna Rayborn. Ooh, okay. First of all, this cover is gorgeous. It is. Um, it's the first book in a series. I'm currently like 80% of the way through the second book. It's so fun. It's like sassy, badass, lady scientist adventure mystery that's like kind of murdery, kind of sexy. Murdery. <laughs> also set in like late 1800s Victorian England. It's like, it's everything I want to read. Yeah. Um, it's, I believe, what is called a slow burn romance in that okay. it's sexy, but <laughs> there ain't no sex yet. Um, but I'm, I'm so enjoying these. I'm having a lot of fun. I think anybody who likes books and good stories and wants to get out of their head and just like, read something fun would really enjoy these um i thought there was only going to be five but i follow the author deanna rayborn on instagram and she posted a picture with like a bottle of champagne last week and said that she just submitted book six to the oh, editor so there's gonna be more <laughs> anyway that's that's all the stuff bunch of makeup that's and then also awesome. books and bags which is a pretty solid like encompassing of everything that I love um the other thing that I bought that like I didn't include in here were Lightroom presets because I also like to, to, to edit pictures I'm a graphic designer so Becca has heard all about my fonts and art that I buy just on a whim uh, but I, I apologize myself. in advance but every time my mom's like you shouldn't be spending money I'm like do you know how much money Tara spends on fonts <laughs> back off <laughs> so yeah I also bought some Lightroom presets because that is something else that I do often um I've been trying to get into this is gonna sound ridiculous uh stock photography where like I've been walking around Pittsburgh taking pictures of like historic Pittsburgh to launch online and sell that's awesome so, why is that yeah, so silly so uh so I've been buying presets and like trying to figure out how I want my pictures to be edited uh so that was another thing that I tacked onto my like ridiculous That's so cool. birthday order uh those are from etsy i'm waiting for another palette to come in the mail of single shadows once i place the order because i'm so freaking excited about terra moon cosmetics um oh i didn't mention so i did the give me glow order and then when i realized how big their pans were i also ordered one of their empty magnetic palettes yeah i think it said it holds 12 yeah but it holds 12 37 millimeter pans that's huge so I uh, have the large sugar pill pro palette, mm -hmm. which like, there's nothing wrong with it. Really. I don't love it. I don't. It's probably the only sugar pill thing I've ever owned that I'm like, mm. it's just so big. And, it's like, like the unwieldy. melt ones where they're long. But it's uh, like I'd, one and a half times longer and one and a half times fatter. And I'd rather have two of the mini ones. Mine currently looks like this. <laughs> That looks ridiculous. So I'm really looking forward to having a thing that fits all 12. And then I can figure out what to do with my like, these are the only five round single shadows I think I still own. <laughs> Is that true? Do I have one more? Uh, in an unprecedented turn of events, I was telling you earlier, I de- <gasps> Did you just break something? I dropped my neon shadows. Uh, one complaint about these, they're amazing and like I love the color. They're very powdery and I feel like they're so fragile. I thought like, you were going to say one broke and I was going to cry for you. It's all over my phone because I like dropped it on it. Anyway, that's Don't on my show road. people that it's midnight your time and we're still recording. Right. They're very fragile. I don't remember what I was going to say other than now that they're very fragile. Anyway, I think that's all of our new purchases. Yep. Not true. I bought a body pillow. Oh yeah, we're avid body pillow people here, so how do I know. how do I use it? You <laughs> I just like put don't. it next to you. But like do you like have it between your knees and like hug it? That depends. How how do you use your body pillow? 
it depends on the night. Sometimes I use it more in like my arms because me and Devin have both found that we both make terrible body pillows for each other. So like we're not exactly like grasping onto each other as we sleep. I don't want to snuggle while I'm sleeping. No. So sometimes I'll use it with my arms and my head. Other times with like my knees. I thought of getting one of the ones that was like, it basically looks like a, a letter C. Oh. That like, but I, I don't want it like touching my back overnight. No. Anyway, I got one that was shredded foam in a bamboo case to help Devin me Devin has school. one like that. I use a regular one. Um, yeah, report back. Tell me how you like the body pillow life because... I used it last night for the first time. I'm having a neck pain issue. I don't think it made it worse, but it didn't fix it after one night. But also, usually, like, once a week night. on the weekends, we let Franklin sleep on the bed. Oh. So that means last night on the bed was Nick, me, Franklin, and body pillow. Yeah. Maybe not the greatest night of sleep. <gasps> so yeah, that was our recent purchases, and we are not done. <laughs> We've gone fully unhinged for the month of May. Did we? I did. Are you waiting on more stuff? No, but I'm going to place this next order. Oh, for Terra Moons? Mm -hmm. I just want the Give Me Glow palette to arrive, and then I will reassess. I am very excited for that to arrive for you. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Do you Literally, want to somebody was like, how do I make a palette that Becca will buy? Right? They nailed it. They did. I can't believe you don't like the liquid lipstick colors because I love them, which I guess makes sense that you don't like them. I mean, it was like a green, a like buffalo sauce, orange, and a brown. Yeah. I don't want anything to do with that. All right, take us out. Okay, um, tell us what you bought. Uh, tweet at us at Beauty Birds Pod. Tell us on Facebook or Instagram at Beauty Birds Podcast subscribe and comment on youtube say nice things about us and give us five stars on itunes um follow us on spotify stitcher Castbox, google play and make sure you are do we have a subscription thing for the blog beautybirdspodcast.com um where you can see uh, all the information about every episode where we also list all of the products we mentioned. Oh God, writing this episode up is going to suck. Um, <laughs> I've got to learn how to edit so I can make Tara do this part. Um, and then I'll just be annoyed and go reformat everything anyway. <laughs> anyway, beautywordspodcast.com. We list all of the products we mentioned. Um, we link to all of the ways you can listen or watch us. And also if we like referenced any other influencers, YouTubers, beauty people, we link them, whatever. Follow, you know what to do. This is like episode 20 at this point. You, go, yeah. you know what to do. Say nice things about us. Say nice That's things. That's it. Goodbye. Right. Bye. Bye.